and we know that the drug heroin that was once uh, seen only in urban areas has become increasingly popular in suburban areas. It's become, some people would say, a Caucasian drug. A lot of um, white kids uh, use heroin a higher percentage than ever before. So you look at it in terms of what uh, is the motivating factor. Obviously, um, children nowadays face increased stressors from society with the downturn in the economy, with limited job prospects, with um, this immigration of family. There's a lot of depression that they're prone to. Heroin is uh, obviously is a depressant as well. And when you put heroin into the mix there, there's a tendency move in the direction of suicide, there's a tendency to move uh, in the direction of increased uh, withdrawal from society. Parents cannot teach their children what they don't know themselves. As Crystal Beinlich of Lincolnshire, mother of Nicholas, who died September 12, 2007, from his first use in, uh, of heroin, said, if I knew there was heroin in Lincolnshire, I would have talked to my kid about the heroin. I have a picture here of a beautiful young mom, Marissa Peterson. <clears throat> and today she would have turned 24, except for she died October 5th, 2011. Um, she has a one and a half year old baby who's now being raised by her mother and father. Marissa um, had a friend, his name, Oh yeah, I wanted to mention, um, her mom tells me that if the rehab, she really believes that if the rehab did not send her daughter home early because of lack of insurance, there's a chance that her daughter could be alive today. She died 18 hours after being released from the rehab.